Hey, welcome back to the J2H channel. Uh, it's me, Jacob. So I am doing kind of a time-stamped video today. So this is, I'm filming this in May. So this is before I quote-unquote lose the man cave slash guest room. So I am showing, recording the wrestling collection as is because I mentioned in probably my last wrestling haul uh, that was pretty much everything I needed to collect. Nothing's came out since that I need. So before I pack everything up, Wanted to film my yearly collection video because this will be the last time, uh, last time everything's up, not in totes. But we, if you can see, I've just, I've, uh, I've started to do baggies. I started to do these a while ago, but I now have everything, uh, not everything, most of it bagged. It's going in baggies and then it's going in waterproof totes. So it really should be okay. It really should be okay, but you, you never know. So. I'm not going to go through everything because I've probably done that verbatim a million times, but I've got every single TNA DVD ever produced and the Impact DVDs up until they stopped responding to me and uh, kind of screwed me out of my last order. So I was supposed to get Bound for Glory, would have been 19, and uh, never never came. They wouldn't respond to me. I tweeted them every day for three months, never got a response. So that was pretty much the end of me collecting the, t the Impact DVDs. Uh, through Shop Impact, so also I have the PS2 game, because I had a PS2 back then. But, so I have all, like I said, I have all the TNA produced ones, I have the, both copies of Redemption, because there was a, an error, one of them essentially is, I think, mute, or it's got like the wrong audio maybe, I don't know. But either way, so I've got all those, and then we go on here, so these are the pay-per-views, so you got 04, 05, 6 and 7, 6, 7 and 8, some 6, 7 and 8, looks like 8 through 10, 10 through 12, I don't know if you can see where my hand is, some shit's falling. 12 through part of 18, and then up through the end. And if you look down here, this is the uh, the one night only. So the one night only is all of them they've ever produced. And they move up here, here's the rest. Up through No Surrender of 17, I think is the last one on DVD. And then of course the amped, but we'll get to those. Uh, these start the compilations in order, kind of alphabetically, basically by subject matter. Got some of the essentials, which are the last ones I bought, those essential collections. The newer ones. Second to none. Some shit just doesn't fit into baggies quite yet. These these are individual, so they got baggies on them, but... Of course, all four of the amps, they're very, very, very hard to find, so those are in baggies. And then we're actually going to move on here to some Ring of Honor stuff. So I've got the four main releases, and then I've got some assortments here. So basically all comps up through ADS styles. I think there's a Kenny Omega. Yeah, I have a Kenny Omega. I have the Cody Rhodes. Basically the, the more popular superstars. Legends in ROH. I have a CM Punk and an Austin Aries. ROH versus Scum, because I think it was like two bucks. Um, and then the Field of Honors. Um, this is a bootleg I got off of Facebook, uh, the best of the Bullet Club, but Field of Honors and Champions vs. All-Stars because it actually took place within an hour from me the day I got married, which I think is pretty cool. Had I not gotten married that day, probably it actually went. Then we have some, this shelf is essentially pointless, so i uh, get it so here on the floor. So we got some nice collectibles there, but. So I am six foot tall, and this shelf is just about as tall as I am. And then we do have some collectibles. So the tin to the WrestleMania I went. My ticket is actually still in there. Um, it's two by four, signed by Hacksaw Jim Duggan, bound for glory bag. So then down here, we switch to the WWE slash F stuff. Um, so all the TNA DVDs, and then we start off again. These are the Blu-rays sorted by uh, subject matter for the most part until you get to the end, which I'll show you. So. And if you look, there's quite a few rare ones in there. I think these two volumes of ECW are rare. These are for sure. Where'd they go? Monday Night Wars 1 and 2. But I tried to get... I mean, it's not all the Blu-rays. That, that wasn't my goal, was to collect all the Blu-rays. It was just the comps I was interested in. Comps like the U.S. and The Undertaker. So I had these on DVD. Got to upgrade those. The OMG 1 and 2, I wish 3 would come to Blu-ray, but it won't because it was a network exclusive. And then we get to here. So after the true story of WrestleMania, um, sorry, 
a bit congested today, allergies. Like I said, this is May, I don't know when you're seeing it. Probably December. But anyway, this is uh, all of the events in order. So this is actually all the events released in America on Blu-ray up to WrestleMania 37, which I actually have, they came out Tuesday. Um, so I haven't bought that one yet. But it's got WrestleMania 24, 25, all the 2010s, all the way up until 17, and then I ran out of room. So down here is, uh, this should be WrestleMania 17, so 33, 34, 35, 36, uh, which is the performance <laughs> performance center WrestleMania. And then at 37, I may actually have purchased it by now, it's just not here. Uh, I mean by the time you're review seeing this. Then we go back up here to the comps. So basically, um, and these aren't bagged yet. So the Blu-rays will get bagged, they're not yet because I ran out. And now that I run out, I like... The guy I buy from is, is out out, so I gotta find something else. I've got a hundred more coming, and then, um, yeah, we'll see from there. So, anyway, but stuff like this will get bagged. This stuff's too big to get bagged. So, um, the Kurt Angle ones still see that, I know that. It's too big to get bagged, obviously. This one's already bagged because the very first time I bought baggies, I bagged up some of my rare stuff, so obviously, that's pretty hard to find. Um, say with this one because it's an, actually an ECW produced DVD way back in the day through, uh, Pioneer Entertainment, but you got your regular non-Blu-ray comps, kind of in alphabetical. I try to do alphabetical order by subject matter, hardy, hardcore, history, you know, because it's, I can put it under a WWE Championship, but I like them all together because these are fantastic. Uh, the, uh, oops, shit, no, sorry. Those sets are fantastic. Favorite belts of all time. Ooh, love that belt too. And the Hulk Hogan, some stuff in there, some pretty cool stuff. Very first ever wrestling DVD right here. You will know now I'm not a big fan of him. That was my first DVD, so first wrestling DVD, so of course I'm keeping it. Down to the very newest one right next to it is the Ruthless Aggression, Volume 1. So, ouch, my shoulder. And then the Undertaker one, obviously, is new as well. And then, so right up here through WCW Nitro Volume 1, we've got, they finish off down here. Basically, this is where everything finishes off because... I ran out of room. So you got volume three, pay per view matches, volume one, rise and fall, and WrestleMania. So now, if we move on to here, we have the events on DVD. So the very first ever wrestling DVD. Well, I will say the very first ever uh, WF DVD. WrestleMania 15. I think there's the only two 99s. And then there's five 2000s, right? Yep, five 2000. All of 2001, with the exception of No Way Out, because it doesn't exist, and that irritates me. Um, 2001, so all the 2002s, including the uh, Canadian versions of both Judgment Day and Vengeance. This is not the American version, but for the most part, I, I tend to count it, because they're so stupid hard to find. All of 2002, Insurrection 2003, because they didn't match the spines. Also super annoying. The rest of 2003, all together. Um, 2004, all of them. Again, this one won't fit in a baggie. Um, both covers of the Great American Bash, including the Walmart exclusive, which I believe is super hard to find now. Got that. Got the WWE Pay-Per-View Rewind for 2015. All of those. WrestleMania 21 still sealed, which is kind of cool. Um, these are my 06s, so yeah. WrestleMania, ECW, and Vengeance. That's all I have for 06. 07 is only three. Royal Rumble, WrestleMania... Backlash for 07. No, I lied. No Mercy 2. So there's 4 for 07. What do we have? 08, Just Unforgiven. And obviously WrestleMania. WrestleMania 08 would be... Oh, 24. So I got that one on Blu-ray. 2009, Just Backlash and WrestleMania, which is on Blu-ray. Now, Capital Punishment 2011, Money in the Bank, SummerSlam. Um, I got these because the rest of 2011, with the exception of these three, is on Blu-ray up here. So basically I have all of 2011 on... In some format, you know what I mean? Let's get over the limit. Or do I mean 2010? Do I mean 2010, 2011? I don't know, I can't remember now. Oh no, it's because it... I don't. I remember, I, oh, so I have half the second half of 2010 up through half of 2011, that's what it was. So I needed these to complete a weird time gap. It's not a whole year. Well it is, but it's not January to February, it's a fiscal year. Um, SummerSlam 14, United Champions 15, Extreme Rules 16, Money in the Bank 16, TLC 17, Kurt Angle's return match. Yeah, so there you go. 
that is the collection before it goes into permanent storage because I'm losing my guest room because of kids and space and all sorts of fun stuff so my collection video my sayonara I say sayonara but I still I got a ton more bags to make I got at least 200 bags coming so this is the, all the blu-rays are 79 um, with the ones on the bottom so just these alone will be one package of baggies so but we'll get it all I wanted to make this before I took it down because I couldn't not have a collection video this year without these because this, this is the collection for me so there you go. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully I didn't make you too uh, too sick. Be sure to check out all the links in the descriptions. Uh, you know, all the all the same stuff. Twitter, Instagram, eBay, Blu-ray.com, TV Time, Letterboxd. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Hey, have you liked yet? Have you subscribed yet? Have you clicked that notification bell? If you could do that, that'd be great. Right down there. Right down there. Thank you so much. Also, go ahead and check out these additional options on the channel. There should be a video, maybe a playlist, maybe one of each for you to check out so you can stay on the channel and stay informed and also over here should be the uh, the logo go ahead and click that click sub